Hey guys, welcome back to Terabyte Reacts. Yes, we are here once again with Cole Gias R2. We are here to react to episode 15 through 17. Another super reaction coming your way. And first, let me say this to you guys. Um, there is a video that I put out um, for you guys to comment on. Let me know what you prefer, whether it be highlights or full reactions. Um, so far, I've looked at the comments and it's overwhelmingly for full reactions. So full reactions will be continuing. But you, if you have not checked that video out, go ahead and check that video out um, and let your opinion be known. Um, so moving forward we're going to be doing full reactions so i'm i i, I don't need um um it seems like that's what's going to be it's an unofficial poll per se i just wanted you guys to let me know in not so many words if what you prefer if it be the highlights or the full reactions because the thing what i what people don't understand about youtube is that and doing reactions is that YouTube is cracking down on reaction channels. Um, you can hardly really do anything on YouTube. On and the thing about it is that I can't go. Th I hate to mess up the quality of people's work, and it doesn't matter if you're com to the whole time you're speaking over the video or whatever the situation is. And over, you know, uh, as I know for some people, some people do overreact. When you look at some anime reactions and stuff like that, you're like, dude, it's not that serious. It's not that serious. You know what I'm saying? Some people overreact and stuff like that when it comes on to their reaction videos. And they're, you know, some people, they're constantly talking over the video and they still get blocked. They still get copyright issues. They get strikes and stuff like that. That is something that I'm not risk that I'm not willing to risk on this channel. Now, as I've, as I've said before, and in the past, if these studios contact me and tell me to take my videos, whether it be on the Google drive on bit true, they tell me to take my videos down. They will come down. No arguments. Why? Because I understand their situation. I do. You know what I mean? But as long, I, I think as long as you're not making money off of this, because I could easily just invite you guys to a live stream and watch this on a stream and don't post it on YouTube or, or Twitch. So which whichever way they want to go, you are still going to have reaction channels. It's just that I'm saying for the money aspect of it, that's what reactors should be careful about, about posting this stuff on YouTube and going out of their way to put it somewhere else to let somebody else pay you to watch reactions that's so to me it's so let me just talk about me it bothers me if i should put this on patreon or say um or another medium where you have to pay to see me react to something that i didn't create you get what i'm saying um it just bothers me so I'm not going to put it out here to say, oh, they, they're, they will go out of their way to do things because you guys know who does it and who doesn't. And you support them, whether you support them or, or you don't support them. Plenty of my subscribers have told me they're so happy that I don't do that. So, hey, that's just some that's just me. On, that's just me on a whole. That's just me. That's just me. You get what I'm saying? It bothers me to do it, and that's why I'm not doing it. I'm not going to go against something that bothers me morally to please anyone. You get what I'm saying? So people are saying that, you know, they're also saying on the highlight on this video, on that video, they're saying um, somebody commented and saying that highlights would blow up my channel. You guys already know that I could care less if my, <laughs> if my channel blows up or not. Like, I really don't. I, I don't care. I want my channel to grow, but when you're saying in terms of blowing up, as in tomorrow, you know, fifty thousand people watch my watch one of my videos, like it really is not that big a deal to me. I would be happy. Don't get me wrong. I will be happy, but it's not going to change. It's not going to change that big that anything on this channel. 
I'm I'm gonna be honest with you guys. It's not gonna change anything. It's not gonna change me. It's not gonna change you guys. Hopefully, so it's to me blowing up. I prefer my my hundred. You know what I'm saying? My 100, maybe 50 subscribers a week. Like I'm enjoying that. I like little growth because that way, when I get to the 10,000 subscribers or the 50,000 or the 100,000 subscribers, when I hit those benchmarks, it will be all so much more satisfying. Why? Because it takes something to grow up. It takes a lot to grow something. Okay. So, and I love when nothing is cookie cut. Or, you know, shortcutted and it just happens. Because look at where some of these big YouTubers are now. Look at where they are. You have a million subscribers and only 10,000 people watching your videos. Like, what's it worth? You get what I'm saying? There's so many people out there with a lot of subscribers and they don't get the views. They, <laughs> they don't. They don't. And it's not that their channel is dead. It's just that they've changed up so many things over the years and they don't know who they are anymore. You get what I'm saying? So thank you guys for watching as always, man. We're going to jump into these episodes. Um, you already know what's going on. Surely is that if you have not watched my last review, go back and check it out because I'm starting to come to the conclusion that I don't need to really review everything I did in the last Super Reaction in my intros anymore. So it's just basically just me talking to you all, introducing you, let you know that the video is out. Go watch it, whatever the situation is, and then... We go into the review after we watch the reaction. Okay, so we already know what's going on. I'll I I'll do snippets, 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 <laughs> right, of things that happened in the last super reaction, of course, in the intro, and that's what we're going to do. Also, so Shirley is dead. It was a very sad moment. Um, and as I've said before, like their relationship now, L Lelouch acting on impulse like that is. We've seen him done this before. He did it at the end of season one with um, with Nunnally, right? When he acted on impulse and left basically all the Black Knights to basically fend for themselves, right? They, and and uh, most of his commanders that are not commanders, of course, they got captured. Toto got captured. A, a bunch of them. I think Ogi got captured. No, Ogi? No. Was Ogi one of them that got captured? I don't remember. But... A bunch of them got captured and they didn't even think that they thought Zero was dead because of what he did. You know what I mean? So, um, so yeah, man, it's, it's just crazy how things are, are going right now. Um, I'm glad that Mr. Orange is on our side now, but, um, they still got Callan and now Suzaku is talking to Callan saying, Oh, Zero killed Shirley. And it's not really Zero killed Shirley. We all, we all know it's Rolo. So. We're going to jump into these episodes, man. Thank you guys for listening. As always, make sure you go back and check out that video that I was talking about earlier. Um, I talked about it on almost all of my reactions today in the intro. So if you have not voiced your opinion, go ahead and voice your opinion, man. It, I highly appreciate it. That's why I keep talking about it, because I do want to know what you guys think, what's going on in your headspace, according to this channel and what you love what you don't like, whatever the situation is. Okay, so thank you guys for listening. See you guys for the review after the reaction. Click on that link in the description. Go watch the reaction. Come back for the review. I will see you guys for the review, Terror Squad. I'm out. All right, what's going on, guys? We are back for the review. Episode 15 through 17 of Code Geass, Lelouch of the Rebellion R2. I mean, do you need anything more? Do you need anything more to say that this is a great anime? I mean, storytelling. I mean, it's on another level. I mean, 11 out of 10. 11 out of 10. When it comes on to storytelling, man. Like, you gotta be... You, you know, I know y'all see me like... You know what I'm saying? Like, I wanna catch every word that is being said because you never know, man. 
you never know. Because I was like, oh, shit, look like they got Lelouch now. Uh, but nope. <laughs> he said, he said that because remember, I think before they showed that scene, before they showed that scene, I was like, shit, did, did Mr. Orange betray Lelouch? But damn, it was all set up. It was him that told Mr. Orange to get, what's his name, Guilford? Guilford or whatever to come over there, man. I'm like, damn, I didn't even think of that because they didn't show who showed up. And I th because it was, it was Mr. Orange that contacted him, right? So I thought it was him, but it's not him. You know what I'm saying? So that was pretty dope. Um, or a psychopath and outside. Um, it's crazy how they do the stories telling in this story because it's like, yo. And the thing about it is that Lelouch was actually, actually a bit remorseful about what he was, about what he has done. And to Suzaku, you know what I'm saying? And I don't know how that relationship would have worked out if it went the other way. But them guys have showed up and they figured they've been following Suzaku. I didn't even, we didn't even know that. I didn't even, I didn't know that. I didn't know there was no off screen, there was no, um, not off screen, but there was no dialogue to that end. You know what I'm saying? Like they were still, they were following Suzaku. So that was really surprising that they were, and they were making it seem like, Suzaku wasn't in no trouble right there like and they made it seem like Suzaku betrayed Lelouch so I think they did that on purpose um because they didn't think that Lelouch was going to escape I think they did that on purpose to make him feel like oh you got betrayed by Suzaku whatever but Snicely is pretty smart he's really smart and you can see that he's pretty smart for for doing that and setting that up and also you know uh you know i'm we all know that the the the, the emperor is immortal so i didn't think he was dead i just thought he was actually trapped in that world just like lelou said so i thought he was trapped but um, nope no he's not he's back on the prowl but i know what um situation with the, with the whole the whole nation thing was nations coming together to fight against Britannia that's dope okay so that kind of that that kind of reminds me of of um the great ninja war the fourth great ninja war in Naruto um where all the nations came together just to go up against um Madara so that was pretty cool um that was pretty cool that it came together like that with just some some basic conversation against because they control what a third what did they say they control about a third of the world right which is nuts right so just them alone so that's crazy so you know what i'm saying so um but the first their first target is um is japan and they're fighting for it now so it's pretty it's pretty cool to see the battles dude dude um night night of the 10 night of the 10 right night of the 10 he's sadistic they call him vampire for a reason right i'm guessing his specialty is assass um assassinations um he loves killing obviously you know he loves killing people um also we got to see um night of the one fight He's pretty dope too. Um, he has his nightmare has a sword called Excalibur, and we all know the legendary tale behind Excalibur. So it was great to see two swordsmen go up against, you know, in their respective nightmares. Um, so that was pretty cool to see. Um, but this anime, bro, this anime, man, is is it's got to be one of the greatest. It's got to be one of the greatest. Um, it's definitely in my top five right now. Something has to drop out of my top five. Just like how Ippo took a spot in the top five for me. Um, Code Geass is definitely getting up there. It's definitely in my top five right now. Because it's just 
for me, that's just me personally, when it comes on to anime, I appreciate a good story more than action. Action, to me, sometimes can be an add-on that's great. Along, Don't get me wrong, Naruto is my favorite of all time, and I love every aspect of it. The story, the fighting, you know, the, the battle scenes, everything about the anime, I love. The emotions that it brings, the life lessons that it teaches, like, um, but... Um, with Cold Geass, the reason why I'm saying this in my top five right now is because the storytelling is just on another level. Like, I wish, I wish <laughs> most animes had this. Because, I mean, I would probably watch way more anime than I do now if I knew that animes are this capable of delivering on this level on a regular basis. And... I know there's tons more out there. I know that there's a ton more that you guys have suggested that I will get to. Now, this YouTube channel ain't going anywhere. It ain't going anywhere unless, you know what I'm saying, I get struck down by the almighty hammer of YouTube. Right? You guys know. So this channel ain't going nowhere. Um, Thank you guys for watching as always, man. These three episodes was great. I wanted to do another one, but I can't. Um, So you guys will have... Evangelion, you will have Evangelion, Attack on Titan, which was act that reaction was dope too, um, and Code Geass tomorrow. So, pretty good. I actually got an episode of Evangelion in there. I was actually supposed to wanted to release it today. I didn't ha I didn't get any time to re to react to anything last night. Um, so. The, the ones that were supposed to come out today, Wednesday, didn't come out at all because I couldn't record them. Um, but I have to stay with the schedule. Um, so those will return on Friday. So thank you guys for listening as always, man. It's, it has been a great journey. Um, shout out to all you guys that suggested this anime, man. Um, as I said, you guys have not steered me wrong yet. Um... And I don't see it happening in the future because you guys have a pretty good idea of what I would enjoy. And you're not going to suggest anything outside of that. So I'm glad that I took a chance on this anime and decided to do it. Cold Geass. Um, thank you guys so much for, just for sug suggesting it. <laughs> All right. So for listening, if you have not subscribed yet. Subscribe to the channel, man. We out here. We enjoying stuff. As I said before, if you have not checked out my last video talking about um, if you want full reactions or just highlights, go ahead and click on that video and go watch it um, and leave your opinion in the co in the comment section. Thank you guys for listening. As always, leave a like, leave a comment in the comment section if you have enjoyed these three episodes um, and I will see you guys later. Peace.